Alrighty then. Alright folks, I'm back out here again with the uh, leaf loader trailer set up. Of course, this is where I keep my rakes, I pull them out. Alright, so I spent an hour and a half blowing leaves with the 580 BTS Husqvarna. Does a monster's job, as you can see. And um, I'm going to show you a little bit of what I did last time. I put the cans in there, so that's working. Alright. <clears throat> I always bring my motor with me because, as you can see, the grass still grows a little bit, so I'm going to hit that again. And here we go. Um, all right, just a little quick little peek in here. So you can see what I did. A little more improvements to make, but you can see it's uh, lo going to load these cans up so when I get to the dump, I'm missing a couple cans to fill this up, so I'll fix that. But I brought it back one rung, so back a little bit farther and I gotta tighten that up again before I get started I'm gonna tighten that up but as you can see these this kind of works until I get some plywood but um, honestly I kind of like this because I can uh, remove it pretty quickly and it's lightweight and a little bit of leaves that comes out it's not that big of a deal but actually it locks in so I can come all the way back to here if I need to but it seems to work better when I keep it more compact so I'm going one rung back it's another about four feet in between each one I'm gonna start it up and get it going so uh i think i'm going to show it from back here well, of course there it is i got an issue with this trigger it's not working right it should be under warranty i'm going to try and get that fixed but it works let's go get it started fill these cans up so when I get to the dump it's easier to unload this stuff that's the hardest part you just need to make something that pins it along the sides a little better more to screw it in. but uh, as you can see I got piles in the front and back so I'll just show this pile really quick
me really quick what I did wrong. See, I gotta put it actually in the can. Forgot to do that. That'll suck the air down and up and not straight this way. So I just wanted to show that. Actually, that was a mistake, so you got to see it. Look. You can see it's working, and uh, that's how you get more work. Somebody comes by and stops and talks to you. I uh, said, so don't put my number on my truck. You can see what happened here. It wasn't on there tight enough, and it slipped off. And that's your safety right there. You want to know what it looked like inside there. Now you do. It's just getting chewed up. I'm using the crap out of it. I think that's aluminum. I don't know. But... I gotta put that piece back on, so this boom helps to, to put it on. So, alrighty. <coughs> Man, that's the only bad part about it. it does, but as you can see, nothing came out of the back. It's sucking it back in. I've done this before with drywall and vacuum cleaners and tarps. You get the right back pressure, it sucks it back in, and you, and you I used to do a uh, prep clean out, and I kind of learned that on my own. And uh, you get the right back pressure, you won't have anything coming out. So, now more you know, one to grow on. It's loaded. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so what's happening here is um, this is a quick shot at the dump after three yards of working completely full. Now I gotta move this thing back far, but this is where the dump is, and we're fortunate to have a nice paved surface to get into the dump. And you can see I'm pulling the clamps off, and you're gonna see the uh, leaves that are piled on top of the cans. Now I actually can pull the cans out, and it makes it a lot easier to get to it. And have to shovel all this out. Okay. Oh, look at that. That is loaded. Alright, now this is I'm going back to the same job just to show you what the problem I'm having with the dust that's coming out the top here. And I 
fix that today on a different video. If I'm going to put it together, you'll see it. I'm like putting a solid piece of uh, tarp underneath. 